Hello everyone. In this video, we will see working of zone routing protocol, which is used in mobile ad hoc network, and this is also a hybrid routing protocol which uses proactive and reactive both kind of protocols. So in mobile ad hoc network, uh, we are having two categories of routing protocol. One is proactive routing protocol, another is reactive routing protocols. So in proactive routing protocols. These routing protocol actually start get, uh, accumulating information about route to every node in the network in advance, and in reactive routing protocols, whenever a node needs a route, in that case, these routing protocol start searching for the route. So these routing protocol actually having some pros and cons. So proactive routing protocols, we can say, it start working in advance. And uh, route uh, uh, route for every node immediately available because they uh, as long as as soon as a node at attach itself to a network, it start accumulating information about the network every route. So whenever in future a node wants to send a data, that route is already available. And the problem with this one uh, accumulated route may be stale. That is not uh, correct information. Plus, in proactive routing protocol, a huge network capacity is used by exchanging those route information. Whereas in routing, in reactive routing protocols, whenever a node wants to send data, in that case, it will start searching for the route. So we can say uh, there will be a delay. In sending data, and uh, there are less chances of that uh, route be stale. So, zone routing protocol uses best part of proactive and re reactive routing, and uh, instead of using flood search for querying route. Uh, which are used in reactive routing protocol. Whenever they need to search uh, any route, they send route query packet to every node in network. They broadcast this packet, but zone routing protocol they don't broadcast in entire network. And uh, proactive routing protocol, this routing protocol is only used in. Local neighborhood JRP actually concentrate if there is any change in network. That change actually will affect only in the neighborhood. There won't be any effect of that change on the other end of the network. So in zone routing protocol, our network is actually divided into zones. So first we will see how that zone criteria is defined. How a network will be divided into zone. So there is a metric. That is known as zone radius. So this zone radius actually will specify distance that which node can be inside zone. So let's take an example. Let's say we are having a zone radius of two, and in that work, every node is having its own zone, and that node will be considered center of the zone. So here we want to see what is the zone for node A, and we are considering zone radius. Two. So what we have to do, we have to see distance for every node from node A. So if we see distance of C from node A is one hope. So this distance actually will be number of hopes. Node D will be having two hop away. Node G will be have uh, is three hops away, and so on. So here, if we can see, if we try to reach node E from this. Way it will be three, but if we try to reach node E from this way, it will be two. So, in case of multiple distance, we will select minimum. So finally, we got the distance for every node. Now, what we have to do among these nodes, all nodes which distance is less than or equal to zone radius, those nodes will be inside the zone of node A. So here we can say. These are the nodes which are inside zone of node A, and node A will be known as center of this zone. In similar way, a zone for node F can be calculated. 
now there is one more definition uh, which is peripheral node so uh, when we define a zone for a node all these nodes are having distance so what we have to do in order to find out peripheral nodes select nodes which are having distance equal to zone radius so node d is having distance 2 which is equal to zone radius f is also having 2 e also having 2 so these three nodes are known as peripheral nodes now we will see how zone routing protocol works so for every node a zone will be specified in that zone only proactive routing protocol is used so inside a zone every node will be having a route for another node and this is also termed as intra zone routing protocol so proactive routing protocol used inside zone and another is inter zone routing protocol for which reactive routing protocols are used so in case if a wants to send anything to z node g so inter zone routing protocol will be used in case if node a wants to send anything to node f intra zone routing protocol will be used so here we will see the working of zone routing protocol so let's say node a wants to send data to node l and we are considering zone radius of 2 so first of all we will see what is the zone of node a so this is this boundary actually is showing these nodes are in zone of node a so node a first will check whether destination is in its zone or not so we can see this node is outside the zone so in such cases if destination is not in zone then a will start reactive routing protocol initiate a route searching mechanism and they will send a route query packet so instead of broadcasting those packet a will send route query packet only its peripheral node so node which are having distance 2 so these are three nodes d g and e which are having distance equal to zone radius so node a will send its route query packet to its peripheral node so now uh, these peripheral node when receive a route query packet they also run the same logic they will check whether the destination is in their zone or not so here g received a route query packet and g from that route query packet will find uh, know that someone is looking for node l so g will uh, search whether this node l is in its zone or not because if this node is in its zone g will be having a route for l but it is outside the zone so g also will do the same thing it will forward that route query packet to its peripheral node so g is having four peripheral node so so we are considering only k node route query packet so this packet are actually sent to m a and e all node now when k receive this packet k also so this is the zone of node k now k also will do the same thing it will check whether the destination is in its zone or not so k will find out because of those proactive routing protocol already working in its zone that l is in the same zone and k is already having a route for node l so now k will send the reply to node a now uh, k will reply k will send this route l k g a and how they do that whenever a node initiate a route query packet they actually attach their ip address in the packet and all intermediate node which are receiving that packet like their peripheral node they also attach their ip address in the packet so when that packet is actually received by destination destination will find out what was the route from node uh, sender to destination so these are 
some point about a zone routing protocol route accumulation process which we have already discussed every node append its IP address to received query packet and then sequence of IP address will specify route from the query source to current node another is query control mechanism this will ensure that same query same root query will not be repeated again in case if a node has forwarded query for a particular destination and in future if that node is receiving same query again it will not forward it thank you very much for watching